God's back. He's pissed. And he's gonna murder the world. Unless we stop him. So you want me to be on your side? Against God? I mean, we are better looking. No. I'm not going to make God my enemy. Because he's God. Well, you don't have a choice. You wouldn't. Try us. I don't have it. Then who does? An old friend of yours. Ruby. Wait a second. Why would you give it to her? It's a long story. I was on the road near Topeka. Long days of providing relief to the weak and weary. Alone yet, warmed by the comfort I provided when she found me. Hey. Anything you want to tell me, Joe? Nice vessel. Suits you better than the blonde. Wait a minute. You were friends? God, no. I mean, sometimes we pool our talents, run a job together if the opportunity presented itself. You've been holding out on me. Ruby, I respect our arrangement. Do I butt in when some sap wants his soul back and you agree to return it for a tidy fee? And I'm good with your little bleeding heart sideshow, but I'm talking way bigger than your usual take. The occultum, you've got it. And I can get you a buyer for a taste. And why would I agree to that? Money? Do you have any idea how much that thing's worth? Millions. Now tell me that doesn't appeal to your label whore heart. And then? I gave it to her. She said she had hid it until she contacted the buyer, which she never did because, well, you... Okay, so where is it now? Stashed. By her. In hell. Ruby, I woke you up because I'm looking for an object known as the Occultum, and the Angel Joe said you hid it somewhere in hell. Oh. Did she? Wow, that is so like her. Don't you think it's a little obvious for a demon to be hiding something in hell? I don't know. Sam and Dean, they're searching there now. Oh, Sam. How is the big lug? I liked him. We had a good thing until he killed me. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. Could we possibly just... When you went to Joe about the occultum... When I went to see her? She called me. This trap because I will mess you up. Wow, that's how much you trust me. Girlfriend, I'm not your girlfriend. What do you want? Here's the deal Lucifer and Michael are circling each other. There's gonna be a showdown, and I know you think you're in solid with Lucifer, but we both know if those two go at it, it's apocalypse time, and nothing will be left standing. Maybe. And maybe things go your way. But maybe they go heavens, and if they do, everyone will need a plan B. Look, you and I work well together when we have to. You are a powerful demon, and I am a good businesswoman. When the smoke clears, there'll be a new world order. We can make that work for us. You said we'd all be dead. We don't have to be. Not if we ride it out in the safest place that exists. I'm not following. The occultum. The occultum is a place? A place, a thing, whatever you want to call it, it's powerful. Joe and I cut a deal and I stashed it. I can tell you the location. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So as we've been told, Ruby will be back this episode. She is back, but not in, in a traditional sense. Supernatural always flips the script. So in this case, we'll get her in a flashback first. Joe telling a story to the boys. She tricked him into thinking that that item they're looking for for Jack to beat God um, is hidden by Ruby in hell but that was a trap uh, Joe tried to get him killed again I'm not convinced that the demon just listened to Joe the only answer to Queen of Hell Rowena where was Rowena by the way nothing we didn't get anything about her she didn't try to help the boys this time not that I want more characters in the episode but it's just all really like mixed up in that episode but anyway Ruby is back again in Lifetime uh, when Castell apparently can have a near-death experience, almost dies just like the boys do, like Dean did before, to talk to death, to talk to Reapers, 
pretty much almost dies to cross over to the other side. For the boys, they get to go, you know, in between worlds to talk to Reapers and death. For Castiel, he goes full on to the empty and can just stroll in to talk to Ruby and stroll out. Wasn't really convinced of that at all. They can store Angel Grace in a bottle and give it back to him to resurrect him after he finishes whatever he wants to do in the empty. It's just all too convenient and too silly for me. They seem to diminish like the power of the empty totally there. But either way, he talks to Ruby and she's like, well, I'm gonna help you under one condition. If you try to bring me back and he promises her he will, I don't know why she believes him, but she tells him the location of that occultum object and uh, they're like, oh, it's a place, it's an object. Well, it is an object in a place. So I understand why they made that confusion, but yeah, it turned out to be an object after all. And uh, yeah, I don't know, she, Jen did a pretty good job. She looked pretty similar to how she was originally and she acted pretty well. She snapped right back in the role of Ruby. So yeah, props to Jen, the great job there. She had a little fun interaction with Jensen's wife. So we had like a bestie, besties situation going on between Sister Joe and Jen, just like I expected in my promo photos with a twist parody series, the video I made. So yeah, it actually went that route. I was making fun of it, but it was a very brief return by Ruby. Again, uh, episode had a lot going on in it, so she didn't take too much time, which I understand. Uh, will she come back again fully? Will Cass keep his promise to try to bring her back from the empty through, you know, Billy's deals the empty, they have a business relationship right now to beat God, whatever. But the empty back in Meg form, so it's a chance to bring Meg back temporarily, so that was a cool cameo. Interesting way to bring a character back. Uh, Rachel Miner had a cool little role as empty, so that wasn't too bad. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, this episode was all over the place for me, and um, I don't know what happens next. We don't even know when the next episodes will be with the craziness going on right now. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below about Ruby's brief return. Um, did you like tonight's nice episode? Did you feel it had too much was all over the place like I did? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe for more awesome supernatural content. Till next time as always, no chick flick moments.